Hi, welcome to your new J Flight SLX by Jayco 165RB. We're going to do a brief tour of the outside and then we'll move inside. First, we'll notice your outdoor compartment. You have your stabilizing jack manual crank. You'll find those stabilizing jacks at the rear of the trailer. Uh, we also have your awning tool. We'll use that in a minute. We'll continue around to the front of the trailer. We'll see your propane system. Right here. And we also have your battery storage right here. We have your manual tongue jack as well as your tongue lock and pin. Now we'll move around the outside of the trailer a bit further. You'll have your input for your potable water or your drinking water for your fresh water tank. And then we have your city water or when you're in the uh, trailer park or campground, this is where you would uh, hook the hose up basically. Next we come to your hot water tank. Here this is a, a manual light. So what you do when you want to light it, you turn it to pilot. So pilot lines up with this notch with here. You press this button down and well, you, that allows the gas in and then you light it manually the, uh, right here with your uh, with a lighter. You can also control the warmth of the water as well. Next we come to the power cord and power supply for the trailer that you would plug into the uh, power at the campground or trailer park that you're at. <clears throat> Here we have the venting for your fridge. It's important to leave this uncovered as it needs airflow to function properly. We continue along to your black and gray water tank valves. This will be where you empty your, your black water and your uh, gray water tank from. Okay, so to begin with, we're going to open up the back portion. Now it's important that you'll notice the bed height when it folds out is over top of the trailer. So you need to remove this pin and then remove this pin and let the tire hang down. I always put this back so you don't lose it. Now these do lock. I've already unlocked them. Open that. Open that. You can fold your tent out. They also fold these corners down so they go over top. And now we'll go inside and we will open that up. So we have this little hook tool that we'll use. And what we do is this inner loop here. So what you want to do is make sure that the hook is pointing up. So this is pointing up and then this end goes between those two screws. You push that out and then there's a hole right here that this pushes up into. You can adjust the tension here. This is the optimal spot here that we have found. Then you fold your bed out and you're good to go. That's pretty simple. We have your basic thermostat here. Turn it on for heat. Adjust the temperature here. You 
We have your range top with range fan and light. Uh, this would be a manual light. You would turn it to the light position and light it with the lighter or match. Uh, the other thing to note in the trailer here is the fridge. So to open the fridge you push up on this lock and that opens it. But to light we have the off position, we have gas and we have electric. So electric when there's when it's hooked up it'll just turn on. Gas however switch it to the gas position. You want to press and hold this button and press the sparker. Sometimes you have to do it a couple times. But you'll notice When it does light, that little dial will start to shift. There, now it's in the green, your fridge is lit. Turn it off, just turn that back to that position. We have your kitchen table here, your dining room table, that also is, folds down into a bed. Right now it's folded down into a bed. There's legs that fold down when you set this up. It, here's your uh, trailer power supply. You have your breakers and your fuses. While we're down on the floor here you'll notice that we have a carbon dioxide uh, smoke detector or a propane detector sorry. Uh, there's a button on here that you should press uh, probably every six months when you check your smoke detector battery uh, just to make sure it's still functioning properly. Now speaking of the smoke detector. Here it is here. There's a button in the center that's a good idea to press it every six months or so just to make sure the batteries are good. Um, also important to note is the emergency exit. Pull down on this tab, flip this up, push the window out, pull this to remove the screen and you're good to go outside of the trailer. Here we have your indicator lights, your indication panel, you have your battery, your fresh water, your black water, and your gray water, as well as your water pump switch to turn the water pump on. The water pump is what you would use to uh, draw from your fresh water tank when it's filled or where you're not connected to uh, city water. We have your bathroom, tub, Pretty simple. You have your manual crank for the uh, bathroom vent. We also have a spot here for your TV. You will see here that you have uh, your cable uh, to hook your cable up to, but you also have this button here. Uh, when you press it, a green a light will come on. When it's in use, uh, I believe the light is on if it's in antenna use. So if you have it hooked up to cable at the campground or a park, uh, you will want to switch that. Uh, press this button if you're not getting good reception. It could just be that it's on the uh, the antenna and not the cable. So we'll use this to switch back and forth. Now let's go back out to the outside of the trailer and we will put your awning down for you. This is a manual awning. You have a lock here, you want to pop those off on both sides. Conversely, you want to make sure that this is uh, locked in before you drive. So right now we want it unlocked. Next we need your awning tool. And you'll notice right here this tab and this diagram. If you want it to up, it should be in the up position. If you want it to roll down, it should be in the down position. So now that's ready to come down. You grab onto the loop. If you can't reach that loop, uh, you can use the tool that we just had to pull it down. So what we want to do is pull it out all the way.
And once that's out all the way, you can slide these up until they lock. Slide these up until they lock. And if you wish to unlock them, there's a tab on this side that you just pull and it slides back out. Okay, now we have these handles to actually extend the awning, pull the handle out and push it out as high as you want it to be. It'll click in place. Then you'll do the same thing to the other side. And there you have your awning. To put it away, you do the reverse. So you'll put these down all the way. All the way down. And then you want to unlock again, like I showed this tab here. That slides all the way down. And unlock this tab here. And that slides all the way down. Grab your rope here so you can guide it up. And then you basically switch this to roll up. And then you just let her go. There. And again, just push that so it locks in. Push that so it locks in, and now you can't pull your awning down. And one last thing to note, or one last couple things is, after you close your bed back into the trailer, make sure you put your tire back up and lock it with the pin provided. As well, when you're folding this up, you want to make sure that all of this ends up inside the trailer. You just want to make sure it doesn't get pinched. And that's about it. I hope you enjoy your uh, new trailer and have many uh, happy trips ahead of you.